Hi guys. I have good and bad news. I'm vlogging today because I'm packing for a trip. Check it out. Emma and I are going on a pretty last minute surprise trip to Nashville for a sad reason. I have two hours until I have to leave. I have to film a few things. I have to work a lot. I have to do my hair. I have to pack. I have a lot to do. It's gonna be a busy couple hours, but I'm gonna pack while I explain to you what is going on. So let me pick out specific outfits because I went to LA like a month, wait, no, like three months ago before I lived here. And when I went, instead of just haphazardly putting clothes in my suitcase, I actually planned my outfits before and then I looked good most of the trip. So. I'm just gonna pick out my essentials from the closet right now <gasps> before before I pack Let me give you guys a mini closet tour Emin and I have a very small room in case you guys didn't know it's very small at least for two people It is we have a, a big ass desk and we have a bed. You see how much space there is there's barely enough space for a chair. Anyway, our closet is made for one person. It is not made for two people. So let me show you what we have to do to fit everything in our closet because it's crazy. First stop, we have this lovely hook on the door for backpacks. Then we have our folded clothes, which barely fit down here. I have to shove this stuff in with my life. And then we have our hanging clothes. This isn't even all of it. We have a bunch of stuff downstairs that I have to wash and put away, so that's cool. I have my purses up here. I have some boots up here. And then on the back of the door, we have all of our sneakers. Okay, anyway. So I need to pick out some essentials. I got my denim jacket. I'm already wearing this, so I'm gonna bring this. I need some like sleeping clothes, some casual t-shirts, so this is good. I'm only going for like three or four days, but I don't even know how many days I'm going for. I literally have no clue what's going on. I'm feeling the t-shirt vibe. Usually I wear a lot of like crop tops and jeans. However, I'm gonna be around Emmons family and I don't wanna look like I'm naked, you know, around children. So I'm gonna dress a little bit different when I go. Um, Let's think about safe spacing. Wait, let's think about space saving. I'm wearing jeans. I'm gonna bring one pair of denim shorts just for good measure. Should I bring this just in case I want to go out to dinner? Maybe I should. It's a cute skirt. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I want to bring everything just in case I want to do something, but I can't because I only have half of a suitcase to fill up. Emin and I are sharing a suitcase because I don't want to carry a bunch of shit through the airport. So I only have half of a suitcase. Okay, so Dickies goes with black tank. Yes, it does. I'm going to bring this t-shirt because it's my favorite t-shirt. I like this t-shirt as well. And then I will bring this t-shirt for sleeping because it's Thin. I need to bring my denim jacket because that's just an essential. I won't bring this. I really want to bring this white tank top, but I wore it once and it's covered in lint and it's dirty, but I don't have really, well, I might have time to wash it, but I don't really know if I want to do that. So I think I'm just going to bring it and then wash it when I get to end of the mom's house. Okay, I got to go through my backpack. I have this purple backpack that kind of doubles as storage because as I said, I have a very small room. So sometimes I'll just toss things in here to put them away. It's not the greatest idea in the world, but I'm going to go through it. Okay, so you guys may be wondering why the hell I'm going to Nashville and why it's sad. So let me just explain. I was in Target like a week ago and Emin calls me and he's like, hey, Murphy has cancer and Murphy is Emin's family dog. So it's a dog that he's had for a few years now. He's only like four, he's really young. I wanted to cry in Target when I heard this, but I couldn't because I was in Target. So just had to carry on. But anyway, he informs me that his dog has cancer and he's gonna die. At that point, like two weeks ago, for some reason he thought that it was gonna be very, very soon. I don't know why. I mean, I guess it's hard to tell with these things. So maybe there was just some kind of miscommunication, but he thought that it was gonna be really soon. And so he was like, we need to go out to Nashville. We need to see my family. So we actually booked a trip for last Last weekend but then like a few days later they were like oh no we went to a doctor he's getting chemo so he's actually gonna live like another year or so if things go well we don't obviously don't know for sure but either way he's gonna die at some point very soon which is really really sad because he's so young and like I've never had many dogs in my life but Emin has always had dogs he's always been really close with his dogs and so this is like very hard for him and his family obviously um, if you guys don't have a dog you might be confused as to why the hell I would be flying home because a dog is sick Dogs are like people, in my opinion. Losing a dog is losing a family member. And so if you would fly home for your sick cousin, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, we're going to see Murphy. We're going to hang out with him. We're going to hang out with Emin's family, but they don't know we're coming, which is cool. For some reason, we always surprise them. I don't know why we keep doing it because I feel like at some point they're not gonna be like surprised anymore because <laughs> every time we go to see them pretty much, it's a surprise, but whatever. Okay guys, I haven't eaten today. I haven't done my hair. I haven't done all my work. I feel like I'm gonna pass out, but I have never felt more organized are prepared for a trip in my life. Check it out. Here we have Emmons and my clothing, okay? That fits in one tiny ass suitcase. That is in a 
accomplishment. I have my little toiletries. I have shoes under there hidden somewhere. I have a curling iron. I have swimsuits. I have underwear, socks. I have jeans, t-shirts, everything I need. And then in here I have some makeup and then I have my denim jacket tucked in there. I have this sweatshirt, which I'm going to wear in, on the plane because I get cold on flights. And then in here I have my jewelry and I cleaned out this whole pocket so it's empty. This is my little tech bag. So I have a portable charger for my laptop. I have my card reader. I have my AirPods in there. And then right here, I have my computer prepping for the video I'm gonna edit on the plane. My purse is fully cleaned out. It's organized, it's ready to go. I got my masks here, my phone is charging. My AirPods, well, Emmons AirPods are charging. Everything is as it should be. And I'm feeling very good about it. I just feel like I'm gonna faint. So I'm going to go cook some lunch, but I'm gonna use Green Chef, which is the sponsor of one of my later videos. It's not this one, but I am gonna make one of their meals because it's easy. I'm making sesame ginger beef patties. Sounds delicious, I'm very excited about it. I am a little bit nervous about going to Nashville because of COVID. I'm vaccinated, but I know a lot of people who got COVID even though they were vaccinated. And I'm going to see Emmons family, some of which are unvaccinated, like his grandma and his little siblings who can't get the vaccine. So I'm just a little bit nervous to go and to travel right now. Luckily, most of the country comply, maybe not most. Luckily, a lot of the country complies. Most people in airports wear masks, at least what I've seen, and it should be fine. I'm just nervous about going to Nashville because in Nashville, they literally don't give a shit about COVID, but I'm gonna make my sesame ginger beef patties and I'll be right back. Sesame ginger beef patties with a stir fry. I also made a little um, sriracha mayo, which I used to never eat. I used to hate mayonnaise or think that I hated mayonnaise. And I still don't like like straight mayonnaise. Like I don't want a shit ton of mayonnaise on anything, but I do love when you mix mayonnaise with certain things. So I'm really excited to eat this. Oh my God, it looks so good. Emin is gone. I don't know where the hell he is. I don't know where Emin went, but it's 2.15 and he's not home yet. And he's not 100% packed and he hasn't eaten and we have to leave at three. So if this man doesn't show up, I'm gonna get very confirmed. I can't talk to you right now. I'm, I'm too engulfed in this meal. Let me finish it and then I'll talk to you. We're leaving in 20 minutes. Emin is not fully packed. He has to put some stuff in a backpack. I don't know. He's not fully packed. My hair isn't done. He hasn't eaten. He's not even here. I don't even know what the hell's going on. I have a raging headache, so that's cool. But you know what? I'm just gonna ignore it and do my hair because this is what happens when I don't heat style my hair. Looks great, I know. I haven't really updated you guys on my life in LA because I've been doing a lot of just videos about story times and my past and haven't talked about my current life too much, but I'm really enjoying the city in case anybody's wondering. I really do love living here. It's not the same as Nashville at all. It's a little bit more dangerous. Like I went to the grocery store last night and I wasn't like scared, but I didn't feel as safe as I did in Nashville, obviously, because there's just a lot more sketchy characters out here. So that's definitely something to get used to. I do get like stared at by men more. I get cat called a little bit more, which is normal. I mean, that comes with any big city, so I get it, but it is a little bit stressful and I do kind of wish that didn't happen. So I am actually really excited to go back to Nashville for a couple days because then I won't have to deal with all these weird people, you know? Um, but all around, I do really like it. I love the weather. I love how it hasn't rained a single drop since I've been here. I haven't made many friends out here, but I also haven't really been trying to. Like, I don't really go out many places. I don't know, I'm not like being some social butterfly. Also, there is a pandemic, so I feel like if we weren't in the middle of COVID and if it wasn't getting worse, I probably would go out a little bit more maybe. But I don't know. The people I have met here, like I've met most of my neighbors, they're all very nice. I do feel very comfortable around California people. I like how they are. But I really need to finish my hair. I did this thing with my bangs yesterday that I haven't been able to do yet. So I'm gonna do it again because I'm really excited about it. It's a very trendy style. It's, how you, it's when you do this, ready? Does that work? Good morning, guys. We made it to Nashville last night. We're here in Emmons mom's house. It's so weird being here. We used to come here like every single day, like right before we were about to move. And obviously Emmons family is really close to me. So it's good to be back, but it's kind of weird because it feels like I live here again. I don't know if you guys know that feeling, but like every time I come back somewhere I used to live, I just feel weird. Like, I don't know. I'm happy to be here. I'm lucky that I get to see these people, but it's also weird. <laughs> I also hate the weather. It is so humid here, I want to cry. But anyway, I'm gonna have a great weekend. I love you guys. I'll see you in a couple days.